G'day guys, welcome back to MG Rebuild. Today, we're gonna to try and see if we can refit those, um, the doors on the car. I'm not happy with them, and I've been getting a lot of comments about it, how to actually do it properly. So, we're gonna give that a try. So, stick with me and see if we can do it. So, let's start off by uh, removing the, the, I was gonna say passenger, but I mean, it depends which country you're in. The left-hand side door, because that, that's the one that was actually the closest. So, we'll try with that one to start, start off with. And I'll take, what I'll do, I'll take the hinges off, take the, the door off completely, and then just sit it in there with some wedges just to try and line up, see if the actual hole is squared, equal, equal spacing all around the door. If it's not, then I've got to um, shim up the, the body tub to the chassis, see if I can get that to actually have an, an even, even opening all the way around the door. one of the bent screws. Anyway, I've got some uh, replacements for those. Not sure if you can hear that, that uh, in the background is uh, a kookaburra, native bird to Australia. Um, a lot of people calling call them the uh, the laughing jackass. They're a uh, a kingfisher bird, um, quite a bird about that big, I suppose. Nice bird. Now, what do you guys think? Um, obviously, that's one of the, the that's the bottom hinge. I've actually gone and polished up the top hinge. Just have a quick run of the wire wheel. Some people say to I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I believe they were painted originally. Some people say, "Oh, leave them brass. They look nice." Other people say, "Look, no, go original and paint them." Let me know what you think. I'm sort of still in two minds. Um, I suppose because there's a lot of silver chrome work on the car, the actual brass hinges might look out of place. I'm not sure. Um, and they're not in the best condition either. Um, you can see there's 
a lot of pitting, a lot of marks um, on there. So it may not be the best option to have it so it's uh, polished, may, may look a little bit ordinary, but drop a comment and let me know what you think. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll try and fit it with, uh, with no spaces this time and see if that makes any difference to how we had it last week.
Now, I've also got some brand new door checks, I think they're called. Um, but I'm not 100% sure how to fit them, where the washers and the nuts go. Um, I, I, I know they go through the door and through the body tub, but does the rubber, that rubber washer go on the, uh, the outside so it can be seen externally and same with the actual metal washer or is it internally or what? So if someone can tell me exactly how they fit, the diagram would be awesome. Um, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, that's the left-hand side one done. And that was gonna be the easiest one. I knew that was for a fact. Uh, the the right-hand side, or for English and Australian viewers, the driver's side, um, it is gonna be a little bit harder. I know that, but anyway, we'll see how we go. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. I don't know if you can see, but that hinge there won't close up any further than that. Now, all the other ones have touched it on the top, but that one won't. Now that come off, off the bottom, so I don't know if that's a good thing, bad thing or what, but um, I'll just give it a little bit of a trim up on the inside to, to fix it. But in the meantime, let's see how it fits. That bottom corner down there, that's where the trouble is. Okay, so it's the next day now. Um, I went around my parents' place for tea last night, so I had to cut the video short, but um, we'll keep moving on. Now, you'll see, I've done a little bit of body work 
down here to try and get a little bit more clearance. I don't know how well that's going to be, but I still need uh, a skin coat of filler afterwards just to tidy it up. But um, we'll try and fit these doors and see how we go. Sorry, I forgot to hit record again. So yeah, I've been thinking about bending this, this bracket in here, but in doing so, that will most likely, well, that will close it up, I think it will anyway, but it's only gonna close up that part, which means the actual front of the door will lift up, which is what I want for this part here, but it's gonna hit, hit underneath the cowl, because as you can see, there's no, there's no real gap there now. Not enough gap to muck around with. <sighs> so at the moment, I actually am at a bit of a loss on how to fix this up. I don't know if it's actually possible. Um, so look, at the at this moment, I might just have to leave it as it is. I don't think I can fix it but if anyone out there knows how to fix this that'd be great now I have had I'm sorry I have added some shims under the body tub to, to try and fix it up but that's not making any difference for what I need so at this stage I'm just gonna have to have to leave it um, that's about it for now um, I'd still, you know, if you guys can give me some comments on that door, I look, I would really appreciate it because it's driving me insane. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I've got to slot those holes in the in the B pillar um, to move that top hinge inwards a little bit. 
Um, or maybe even slot it in the door. Um, I'm not sure which one is better. Possibly the door might be the better option on that one because otherwise, if I slot the um, if I slot the hinge into the actual B pillar a little bit further, it may protrude into the interior um, interior lining when I actually get a chance to put that in. So yeah, possibly the door needs to be needs to be slotted a little bit for that. Um, as for lifting the front of it, I really don't know. There's just no room to be able to do that. Um, if I lift it up, then it's going to um, catch on the cowl, um, and there's just no adjustment there. So I might just, it might just be something I have to live with. I mean, I've got to remember the car is nearly 70 years old. I'm not the first person to work on it. Um, possibly not the last either. Never know. Hopefully, this car will be around for you know decades to come. Um, but yeah, it's it's doing my head in. But like I said, it, it may be what just what is acceptable. Um, there is a state concourse, Tasmanian concourse, MJ concourse coming up in about five weeks time, I think it is. So I'll be looking around their cars with a you know a very detailed eye, you know and not to pick holes in what they've got but to actually think okay hang on i've done that wrong on mine i'll better fix that or that's a different way of doing things i might give that a try that sort of scenario and just to see what their panel lines are like you know should mine are mine acceptable should mine need to be um altered um do i need to start again so anyway i'll find out in a few weeks time when uh, when that's on so don't forget, uh, jump on online onto, um, there's the, one of the new shirts, um, mgrebuild.store, um, and, um, you know, grab yourself a t-shirt or a, a sweatshirt or a hooded sweatshirt or what we call down here in Australia, hoodies, um, and you'll also have a look at the new logo that's on the website as well, um, there, it's just, the words MG Rebuild. Uh, I've had them um, designed by a graphic artist and I'm actually very, very happy with it. It looks really good and it appeals, the logo would appeal not to just the T-Series but to all MGs, which uh, I think that's what the original logo was missing. I mean, the original logo is very descriptive of what I'm doing right now, but it narrows the audience down, so these t-shirts would, you know, would be a more appealable to appealable. I'm not sure if that's even a word. More appealing to the general public, um, and also you know, MGB, MGA, and all those different owners out there as well. So, so jump on the, like I said, jump on the store, mgrebuild.store, Grab yourself one. Um, I might see if I can do a special on there, like you know, grab two, you get free shipping or something like that. So, that's something to look out for. Um, so, uh, don't forget to subscribe. The channel is growing. Um, I'd like for it to grow a little bit faster, a little bit bigger. Um, I mean, it's, it's only a new channel. It's only been around for, um, oh, I think it's been less than a year. Um, but it's still growing nicely. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, like I said. Uh, click on notifications. Um, and also, we do have a um, Instagram page there as well now. So, if you just want to not click on that link because it, I don't think it's going to work. I don't know how to get that to work yet, but that's it down there. So um, go visit that. You can see some stuff um, that's happening before the videos are posted and that. Um, so um, have a look, see what you think. Okay, so until next time, which I've, um, unless someone can give me a, a miracle cure for that door, I reckon I'll be putting on the, uh, the radiator and maybe the front guards. See how we go. Okay, until then, see you later.